Hi. Why create entirely new characters for the animated Jet Twins instead of using Sideswipe and Sunstreaker from G1? Um, because the, that was a pet project of Eric Siebenhaler from Hasbro, and he had wanted to do those Jet Twins for, since the beginning of this, this, he's, this series, um, even when it was called Heroes, he had concept art for it. Um, I don't really get the Sideswipe and the Sunstreaker love. I never really understood those characters that much. I'm like, they're just cars. They don't really have, I don't know. They, they don't really mean that much to me, so I, wouldn't, I would never fight to get them in the show. If someone else wanted to, I wouldn't oppose it, but like, they, they're not that important to me. All right, thank so. you. How did, how did you come up with the design for Bumblebee's human form? Like, what determined that design? Well, I, w I was trying to do the humans, and the first pass, they're way more Scooby-Doo. Like, Fred, or, uh, uh, Optimus has Fred's uh, scarf and, like, a, a, a sweater. And Has <laughs> Hasbro said, no, come on, you can't do that. It's got to be a little more heroic than that. So, um, But I, I kind of just... Um, was drawing what I thought of when I heard Bumper doing the voice, you know, and, and I tried to incorporate some of the, the um, robot elements, you know, the stripe and, yeah. and the horns and the hat. Um, also, uh, how did you get the job as the lead character designer? Uh, I, I met the executive producer of the show, Sam Register, yeah. when I was at Cartoon Network doing Teen Titans, and Sam liked my artwork a lot in that show and would always have me do development for a new series and usually they would never you know they would never get off the ground but yeah. he came to me with this and he did he had no idea I was a Transformers fan and he asked me if I wanted to take a pass at it and I said yes I would <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and uh, one more question at this point would you able to be would you be able to confirm a season four of Transformers animated I can't I can't um, confirm or deny right now oh, um, uh, the, we're supposed to Hasbro's supposed to, to say something about it um, we'll fairly soon. We'll see how the movie does. Maybe. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I would uh, like to. In regard to Team Char, we know that um, Oil Slick gets an Earth vehicle mode, but do the other uh, characters get Earth modes as well? Well, n nobody, none of the, the well, <clears throat> you mean in the, in the show? Well, um, well, we know that the Blackout toy is coming. Right. But we don't know if He's, it's... Cybertronian or if it's uh, Pavlo or something like Earth that. Earth mode. That's it. Okay. Um, you said before that um, you regretted when you were uh, thinking up Headmaster that you didn't incorporate any Gurren Lagann uh, yeah. references in it. Uh, did they finally make it into the show when it came to uh, Sari's transformation and Dirk uh, Voss using drills to control A people? little. Uh, um, I mean, the, the, the drills are kind of the Cerebro shells from from Bombshell. Um, um, Sari is a little more die buster, I think, than, than Gurren Lagann. And uh, the, the Die Atlas design I did has, has big drills on him. He's, he's a little more, I think, Gurren Lagann inspired than, than the other guys. Is there any chance of uh, the Omega Spream color job <laughs> making it into the show at all. It'd be very tiny. Walk-on cameo. Not, not in season three. <laughs> Thank you. When we look at a lot of the characters that appeared early on in season three, Brawn, Hotshot, Cyclonus, Warpath, even Beachcomber, who'd make it in later, were they designed in mind that the fact that they were getting toys or had toys released recently through the Universe line? Um, nothing, not, not from Universe, but... but we do, uh, we do almost every character with toys in mind. So Eric Siebenhaler works out a functional transformation and you know, we'll figure out what parts can go where early on so that they can take that if they want to make a toy later, they can make, a, make it out of there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Transformers Animated contains a lot of hidden secrets and fan nods that most of mainstream fans wouldn't get. Which was your favorite one to do and you're most surprised that actually made it in? Uh, hmm. There's so many that, that not even Transformers fans have found yet that I think is kind of... Huh? The wrecked our motorbike? 
That yeah, that was in there. That that was like a one frame thing. It was crazy, but but there was there's um there's stuff from. Uh, I, you know, I think that uh, uh, my favorite stuff is 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 sneaking in the Japanese stuff, like you know, seeing Hydra and and uh, Cancer, having having dinner with Marty, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, I really like that we got Grandis in the show. That was my my big goal for this season, as a cameo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What was your first toy that you ever got, and then did you be, were you able to get it into the show and kind of treat it a little differently than other yeah, characters? Uh, mm, no, I think my first my first Transformer was Ravage, and uh, I didn't. I, we never got to put him in the show, but he would be. Re I would really like to figure out some way of, you know, I don't know what he would be, but it would be cool to figure out. Thank you. Mm -hmm.